Hello everyone, this is Firewall5000 here. I thought I would uh, share a quick video blog to you all. Um, I'm back to working on computers again, and this particular laptop you're seeing right here is a Toshiba L455. It is my sister's laptop. Uh, she asked me to put a new antivirus on there because hers had expired like <laughs> two years ago. And sure enough, there was a virus on there, but that was only part of her problem. See, she only had two gigs of RAM on this. So I went to the computer store here, bought her an additional stick of uh, two gigabytes of RAM. And she also had uh, an old school 5400 uh, spinner. I'm gonna replace it here with this uh, solid state drive. Now I've already gone to the trouble, as you can see, I've pulled it out and Here's the uh, caddy that came with it. And I've cloned the operating system onto, from this old hard drive onto this one. As you can see, I've already removed stuff. Uh, that's where the RAM goes. Um, that's where the new solid state drive is going to go. They were really nice, uh, Toshiba was. They went and uh, made it easily access accessible with these uh, little covers for the RAM and the... Uh... All right, as you can see here, I've already uh, screwed the uh, new drive uh, in with the caddy and I've already plugged it in. I was going to show that in the video, but it was a little too tricky uh, doing that with just one hand while I uh, hold the camera with the other. So that's already uh, fully installed, uh, ready to go. And as you can see, I've got the additional uh, memory stick. I've got it aligned here at the slot and all this should uh, really do now is just push it in place and it just clicked on so I'm gonna take the covers here put them back in place and uh, I'm not gonna screw it back on because if something's wrong like if the drive didn't uh, go fully back in place I'm just gonna have to pop it back open and double check the memory stick it's kind of picky I was I was playing around with the um, ram stick and i didn't get it quite in place so it wouldn't boot up so anyways i'm going to leave them unscrewed for the time being i'm going to flip the thing on and i'll be right back all right as you can see here i'm fixing to uh boot the machine up into the desktop and as i uh suspected um i had to like flip the uh, laptop again oh wow that booted up a lot faster uh back when i first started messing with it um, yeah, it, I'd have to wait for it, like for two, three, up to five minutes for that thing to finally boot up after, uh, before moving all the bloatware and all the other stuff that I did. As you can see, yep, it is now showing four gigs of RAM and it's running the, uh, solid state drive and uh, yeah, huge increase. And as you can see, the last time this did a Windows experience uh, whatever index rating it was rated at 3.1 and i am very interested to see what the rating is going to be now after i refresh it so let me hit the uh, refresh button here let me see 3.1 so i'm going to hit refresh and we are just going to see how high it's going to go the rating all right, the test just uh, finished, and as you can see, it is no longer rated at 3.1. It is now 4.0, and as expected, the uh, hard disk rating, this right here, where it says 7.7, that was originally uh, 5.8 before I started working on this, and I definitely expected a big spike in performance since I uh, put a solid state in place. So yeah, uh, 4.0 for an older machine, I'd say that's a... Pretty good little uh, improvement there.